to the workshop, everybody. Loads of the comments were right. So yeah, my new project car, I have bought the cheapest running Maserati Quattroporte that was in the UK. And it, as you can imagine, it's full of problems. So you can already hear, that's a lovely little misfire. And anyone that knows anything about Maserati, these were built by Ferrari. Ferrari owned Maserati at the time, so that is a normally aspirated 4.2 Ferrari V8. Um, so you can imagine what the parts are like. It's also how complicated they are. So they are known for going a bit bang and being extremely expensive to repair. So, uh, oh, there's the fans kicking in, so it's getting warm as well, that's helpful. Um, <laughs> so, when I say taking a small risk, I'm really not overplaying it because that's got a misfire on at least two cylinders. And if that turns out it's all on one bank, that could be the variable valve timing uh, cam variators, which is about 6,000 pound job. However, I like taking a little bit of a risk and this is in pretty good condition, all things considered. And the paintwork is dull and it's not too bad under there. It needs a bit of, it's not really, I mean, you know, this is some marks and scuffs. What's this? That is, what's that? Oh, right, that's, what are they, Marks? Are they, does someone put a tyre in this? That looks like a tyre, doesn't it? <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> someone's been storing tyres in the Maserati. I've been using it as a shed. That says everything you need to know, doesn't it? And, yep, more Marks. Oh, that's definitely tyres. But do you know what? It's all right. It's got warning lights all over the dash. It's got all sorts of stuff. It sounds like it's getting hot, but I've wanted one since the first time I ever saw one. Now, admittedly, as most people, they want the GTS, the sport version, and there is quite a bit of difference between trim levels and side uh, bits and pieces, but I paid five grand for this. <laughs> so the only other one at five grand had the oil light on and so basically it was guaranteed the engine was already screwed. This runs and drives admittedly quite badly at the moment and it needs some sorting out. So I am gonna see if I can make my, <laughs> my fantasy for this car come true on an absolute budget or it's gonna bankrupt me. Either way, should be fun to watch. Yeah, okay, so that's, we've got engine lights on, we've got no parking sensors apparently. Uh, there's a rather funny other problem with this. Is <laughs> this is supposed to sit at zero or just above it, and it doesn't. So when this is registering 20, you're actually doing about 40. So that's something, you to drive this, you've got to do maths. Can you hear it, that misfire? down there it's firing on probably six of its eight properly but if we get a little piece of Woo! so it really is just that low down so that could be simple or could be the variable valve timing If uh, this was smell-o-vision, you'd smell the unburnt petrol. It's terrible. So that misfire is, is reasonably serious. And that is the risk with this car. The massive, massive fault on these is the variable valve timing. And uh, it's called cam variators. They go, they are about a 6,000 pound job to do. They will eat your engine if you don't do it, and they start rattling. 
but they can affect misfires, everything. So the massive chance has been taken on this car is, is it a six grand job to fix or something much simpler? And I don't really mind if it's the big job afterwards, I'll do it. But that's the risk that's been taken with the cheapest car that I could find. M139, this is the end of it. System scan. This is where I get scared. Okay, it is doing things. It's showing all sorts of stuff. Uh, this has got the Skyhook suspension, which is extremely expensive when it goes wrong. Uh, so we've got a parking sensor problem, haven't we? So, what's the parking sensor? Uh, rear right hand sensor, no signal. So that's just a, one of the sensors is dead. That's simple, we'll leave that for a minute. Although, you know, just in case, yeah, never know. Um, we'll clear that. But it's the engine. This is the big thing, isn't it? All right, fault code. Okay, generic misfire, that's okay. But we've got a cylinder eight and a cylinder four misfire, which could be, I've got a good reason that could be happening. Let's fingers crossed. So that's the engine in one of these, and it is a Ferrari engine. Ferrari owned Maserati at the time, which is why everything on this is Maserati only. But cylinders, four and eight. Now, look at the amount of space. It's a long car. Radiator, all of this space back here to that cross member, you can see, and the engine. The engine's almost underneath the dash. That is to balance the weight in the car as much as possible. What that does mean is, what have we got here? Well, there we've got, that is cylinder one. Cylinder two, cylinder three, you can just see. Cylinder four is back there, so cylinder eight is the same on that. So if I'm lucky, this, the issue with this is because people have been lazy. If I'm lucky, the misfire on cylinders four and eight is because cylinders four and eight have not had a spark plug change in a lot of years because the amount of work involved to get to those two compared to the other six is enormous. So when things are then maintained on a budget or sometimes a, how should I say this politely, an unscrupulous mechanic perhaps, who said, yes, 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 I've, ch I've, I've changed all eight and didn't do the two which were extremely difficult because he didn't know how, had quoted to change all eight and then realized that it is four hours extra work to do those two or couldn't do it. So with a little luck, the two cylinders which are misfiring are down to something simple rather than an engine rebuild. <laughs> uh, and of course, because they are the engine rebuild, usually one of the cam variators, because there's one on each bank of the engine, one would go on one side before the other, which would mean you would have misfires only on that side if it was cam. <sighs> Timing. But if, it, if someone hasn't been able to change these, it's gonna be a pain in the backside for me as well. Okay, first foray into how expensive these cars are to maintain and how stupid I might have been. Eight spark plugs, it's a V8. I know it's misfiring on two, but you know, it's got random other misfires, so I expect they generally all need changing, but two are probably breaking down. How much do you think for eight spark plugs? Yeah, well, whatever you think is gonna be wrong. That's right, 300, 324 euros, 48 centimes. Okay, that's the one that came out of number one. That's the one that's been given to me as brand new. They are not the same. So lucky I didn't pull anything more apart before I got to go and get the changes over. So we are off to a flying start with the incorrect part. Oh, well, that happens. You cannot help these things happening. So I'm going to put the old spark plug back in the hole, just hand tight so nothing can fall inside the engine while I'm not looking, and go and get the right spark plugs. <laughs> 